Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. I've had a wardrobe change. This is the third video this morning, but we're trying to get a bunch of stuff processed so that I can get them listed. I'm really wanting to clean up my basement, get stuff processed, get more of the stuff. I've been focusing on smalls and I've been letting the new incoming stuff pile up. So now I'm going to try to get through some of that so I can get that stuff up off the floors and hopefully not have cramped floors anymore. Because all y'all see is this nice wall back there behind and you see some stuff piled on the table, but there is about There's what, eight, eight feet, maybe six, eight feet behind Rebel there, mm -hmm. seven or eight feet. And, and it was packed. And all but, a, all but about three feet of it was packed full of stuff just below the line of sight there. Yep, yep. Not that we're trying to hide it. That's just where it was. Yep. So it's like our been where we've been bringing the incoming anytime we try to dump the truck. So it's been coming over here. And I, I'm wanting to get to a point where all the shelves that line the entranceway of our basement, I'm going to have totes and baskets and boxes and stuff there. So any incoming stuff goes there. And that way I can just bring it here as we're doing it. So that was the plan last year and it just kind of fell apart. But we're going to try it again. Sometimes all the stuff coming in just piles up and takes piles over. Up. Because you, you got to keep it coming in. Because we don't bring in as much in the winter. No. And people that live farther up north, you know, probably like in Minnesota or whatever, they probably even have fewer, shorter yard sale seasons and a longer drought of when they don't get to bring stuff in unless it's a thrift store or the bin. So... We're lucky, though, that we've got so many estate sale companies, and that's what a lot of this ends up being. You know, some of this was peaches to the beaches, which we don't do those very often, um, but a lot of these are just the estate sales that we keep going to, and we've got quite a few that we can go probably every week all winter, so. But you mentioned peaches to beaches. We don't go to a lot, but you've brought up the one, the 400-mile yard sale yeah, in, in Kentucky. June. Like, it's... Part of it's over north of Nashville and then kind of goes east from there, it seems like. So if anybody's going to go, we're contemplating going to it. So if anybody's planning to go to that. Let us know where would be a good center area to get, you know, an Airbnb or hotels or whatever we decide to do. But something central, like for the Highway 127 cell, it just seems a lot of people go to Crossville area and then branch out. What is the center hub of this this? 400 mile yard sale in Kentucky. There may be a couple, you know, maybe this town, there's a lot of stuff around that town. And then yeah. in the middle, there's something and on the other end, there's something. So if y'all know of a good place to, where there's lots of yard sales or I guess even the vendor cities set vendor up, cities. you know, we'll, we'll go through those. Cause we, you know, we find things in there. We just prefer the yard sales because it's more fun, I think. Yeah. All right. So a lot of this was from an estate sale. We went to maybe last week. And I think some of this might have just accumulated. But I'm going to show you some coffee mugs. Pier 1. I tend to buy a lot of things Pier 1 because some of it's no longer being made. A lot of and whatever is, is online. You know, all the stores closed. Well, in our area it did. So I grabbed this. Coffee Queen. Paid a dollar for it. I do really well with coffee mugs these days. You know, a lot of them are 7 eight ten dollars sometimes more but now that i've changed my shipping to my buyer pays the discounted shipping i've been selling a whole lot more mugs now i think i have two of these the other one might still have not made it in here yet but i grabbed these they were ford the universal car don't think it's vintage but i just thought you know advertising stuff i like to pick up I'm hoping maybe 10 bucks or so each. Oh, and then this was another Pier 1. I paid $2 for it. Look how cute. It's got the dogs. It's big. Look how big that is. Again, I'm hoping 10 to $15. Grabbed this. Must have been 50 cents. This goes to a vintage Fisher-Price Little People farm set. A lot of times, this is cardboard. A lot of times this is damaged. Children have colored on it. This one seemed to be in really good condition. 
you know, in here around this edge a lot of times gets torn up. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. It's going to be a replacement. I'm hoping like $8 to $12 for it also. This intrigued me. I paid $3 for it. It is 1994, made in the USA, Stephen Manufacturing Company, but it was a kaleidoscope. It seemed to work very well. It wasn't overly dirty on the inside, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. I'm hoping like $12 to $15 for it. I saw some stuff like this after eating some mushrooms I found in the woods one time. <laughs> right. This intrigued me. I paid up a little bit. You can't see five dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and open them, but they look like they were these little blocked mice figures. Almost made me think of like Russ, but I don't know. Look, there's our little behinds. I don't see any tags, but we've got oh, we've got a little piggy. In her boudoir that, outfit, look at that. Is that a bikini? Oh, no, that's not it? even. A, no, that's not even. You can't even pretend that's swimwear. That's no, not swimwear. It is not. And then this little pig, they're just interesting. So I, I thought it was worth the five dollars to go ahead and pick it up, but I'm not seeing any tags. But to me, they looked Russ. We'll see. Maybe Google Image will help me. Google Lens. Google Lens, yeah. All right, a couple of plush. I don't remember. Probably a dollar or so. But again, I think I showed you on the last video. I like Cuddle Wit. I tend to do great with it. Even the bears. Probably going to be bread and butter. And then I grabbed this. It was Superior Toy and Novelty. It's one of the carnival plush, so it's really, really stiff. I just thought it was very cute. It's a skunk. You know, sometimes selling these uh, animals that aren't normal um, do well. I'm hoping like $12 to $15 for it, but y'all, words of wisdom, do not ship this really stiff stuff in poly bags or anything. It probably will get damaged, um, so this will be something... Probably will fit in like my eight by six by four box. I grabbed this. Look how cute. It had its little paper tag still. It says my friend. It is Nanco. Nanco is Nancy Company, if anybody doesn't know that. The thing is though, it's got this glue residue. Like it probably went sat on something or somebody used it to sit on something. It was purple, vintage. I went ahead and grabbed it. Probably going to be bread and butter though. Pretty sure this is Avon. Well, no, American Greetings. I've picked this up before. It's going to be bread and butter. I just liked it. Vintage, Christmassy. And I Google Lens this because, y'all, you know, it was $3, but it is a plate cover, like a light switch switch plate cover. There was something on there that intrigued me. Oh, y'all, that just looks weird. You did that in the last video, too. I know. Too. Oh, Bartland Plastics. Bartland? I think so, Bartland. I think when I Google Lens it, it was going to be like $15 or $20. So I went ahead and grabbed it. All right, we talk about these brand quite often. We pick these up for you know, one, two, and three bucks. Sell them pretty consistently for $15 to $20. In fact, I think I had some in my latest What Sold video, but they're Clark's, and we tend to pick them up anytime we can get them cheap. Then while I was waiting on Robert to finish his walk through the estate sale, they had a ton of religious type books. Y'all, cookbooks, religious books tend to do really well for us. I didn't check all of these, but what I did was I had 
put in Wendell Winkler, and quite a few came up in the sold comps. And I think one of the books in here, I don't remember which one, um, had had sold comps for about $15. I think I paid $1 or $2 for the bundles. So it was a bundle of four. So one of these sold for like $15. So, you know, if it was $15 for each, that would be a nice thing. Study Bibles, I tend to pick up. I don't know if I, I may keep this one. I have a study Bible that I've not started using yet. Um, this one seems to be a little bit lighter, so I may go with this one. I don't know yet. But if not, I'll just list them. We do really well with study Bibles. When I mean, you said religious books and cookbooks, you have to be particular. Though. Yes, you do. Yeah. Definitely check the comps. Don't just pick up all. Because there, and there's some religious leaders, I don't care how much they sell for, I'm never going to buy their books. If <laughs> you can leave that in or not. Um, and then I found these. This was, I think all of them, yeah. Same thing was happened again. I put in Willard Conchin, Conchin, and several of these books showed up. I don't remember the comps on that particular one, but I have this huge pile, and they were $2.00. So I went ahead and grabbed all of these. I may end up putting them in like lots of two or four or individually. I don't know. It just really depends on what the comps are going to show me. But again, for $2, it was well worth picking these up. That's, you mentioned, you know, there's some that, you know, of the religious leaders that you wouldn't buy their stuff and sell it no matter how much it's worth. And I think we probably all have those sorts of things that... Mm -hmm. I disagree with this, whether it's something political or religious or Ouija uh, boards, Ouija boards, or you know, any, something that might be sexual or something like that. That we're just not going to do we, it. We bought it. We had a it was an anime book. No, it was it was a, like a graphic novel kind of book years ago, and I picked up. Oh, this is interesting. You know, these things. And I looked at. I want to say it was like thirty bucks or something. Picked it up at the bins, and it just had some really crude stuff in it. So it just got put in the trash. And we've all have to make those decisions about what things lie inside the boundaries of what we will sell and what things lie outside that. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I, w I see Ouija boards all the time. Mm -mm, not happening. So. All right. And I grabbed these. I want to say she charged me like two or three bucks for all four of them. But... There are these wire brush trees. I don't know if they're vintage, but they definitely look vintage to me. I didn't even check them, but I just thought, you know, with this top, the brush, I just went ahead and grabbed them. I'm hoping at least 10 bucks each for them. Um, I've done really well with some of these small Christmas trees. Yeah, this person that we, oh, here, I'll show you guys. This person that we bought a lot of this from, the estate, um, she was a jam maker. She had a huge building. And I guess I had heard somebody talking about that they used to sell at some of the fairs in our area, you know, the, the Renaissance fairs and stuff like that. Um, but it was this Woods Gift Farm and they had hundreds and hundreds of jars of the jelly that she had made. Um, and pe they were selling a lot of them for one and two dollars a jar. And like one of the workers told me somebody came in and bought like 300 jars of the jelly. And there were still tons there. But we bought this violet jelly. So we're going to try this out. Maybe we'll try to before maybe this video gets released. We'll make a quick video of, you know, making some biscuits and eating some violet jelly. So... I thought that was fun. You all right? You're getting all <laughs> hateful at me for trying to put the jelly on the biscuit. <laughs> Look, y'all. We've got biscuits and we've got our violet jelly from the estate sale we went to. And so we thought we'd do a taste test. We've already put butter on there because you can't eat biscuits without butter. So I mean, it's going to kind of interfere with the flavor of the jelly, but you don't eat, I mean, unless you're some sort of alien, you don't eat biscuits and jelly without butter on it. it just wouldn't be appropriate yeah there's no smell do you smell anything no, no. a little bit i smoked a little bit there but it's it's very 
All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and... I just actually want a half of a run anyway. It's a little liquidy. No, it's it's very it's... very lightly gelled. Yeah. All right, I've got mine. It's clear, y'all, so you can't tell. Ooh. I can make homemade biscuits, but these are not homemade biscuits. I have I make good biscuits. You didn't even wait for me. No. It just tastes sweet. It doesn't That's have it. A, it doesn't have a very distinctive flavor, mm -mm. but it's good. Yeah, I figured it was going to be super sweet. It's sweet, just like you. <laughs> and then you give me a look. Like I'm, I'm waiting for the lightning. <laughs> All right, so. Toast. <laughs> <laughs> Pick this up at a different estate sale. I th I've just recently, I tend to sell these type of, what are they called? Strainer? Food processors. Yeah. Food mill. Yeah, food mills and like pasta machines. A lot of this vintage stuff do really well and they sell quickly for us. I want to say we paid like three bucks. Something like that. I yeah, think it was, it was cheap. three bucks. It is, I'm trying to see if there's a English version. That is the English version. Oh, that Arriva, is? Oh, Arriva, Arriva Gulliver. Gulliver. Um, but, it, you know, it's used to process tomatoes a lot of times into, for canning purposes. Okay, that's probably not the English version. I don't know that there is an English version on there. I'm thinking the Gulliver you could get away with. I'm hoping, what, 20 bucks or so for this? The question is, is keeping this box that's kind of in rough shape um, worth, you know, selling it like this? I think it still would fit in a priority mailbox. I mean, priority shipping box, I think. 13 inch. I don't know about that. I think it's too wide. Yeah, we'll see. But it was in very good condition. Didn't even look like it had been used. So it it can get mailed in two priority boxes, Frankenstein yeah, side Frankenstein. to side by side, or vertically. Right. And then I grabbed a cup. This was from that same religious books thing. Just thought these looked very interesting. It says Halloy's Bible and Cruden's Compact. Oh, Haley's Bible. Oops. Haley's Bible and Cruden's Compact Concordance. I'm going to try to get that off. I, it almost seems like, I don't know, paint maybe. Hopefully it'll come off without damaging this. Didn't even check it. I think they were like a dollar for the two of them. So I went ahead and grabbed them. And then, is this you or me? Ed McGurvin's book of fast and fancy revolver shooting. I remember you, looking you, this you up. You picked that up. It was at the same place we got the food mail. Yep. So I grabbed this. Oh, it's an ex-library book. It was going to be like 20 bucks or so for it also. We stopped at a thrift store the first day down at Peaches to the Beaches. Everything outside was a dollar. I think some of this came from that. Yeah, I might not get to all of it though. But we grabbed this. It was a dollar. Boy, these figures have been hot glued in there. Like, Except for baby Jesus. Yeah, baby Jesus well, is loose. He was glued, but he's loose. I want to see how many more maybe I can get loose. Because the stable's in kind of rough condition. But maybe I'll keep it together. Keep it I all together. Know. Stuff it with the bubble wrap. I don't know if it's Fontanini. It was made in Italy. So, yeah, it might be Fontanini. So... I'm hoping, what, $25 plus dollars for it. I didn't look it up. It was a dollar. I bought it. And I grabbed these. Again, not sure if it was there. But these are like miniature ornaments and gators and I don't know who is that. Florida State Seminoles. Oh, the Seminoles. So little ornaments. Definitely will sell them separately. I'm still, I'm hoping at least 10 bucks each. Yeah, and you're probably not going to sell them together because they're like big rivals. They play the end of the year rivalry game against each other every year. Yep. Here was two more of the mugs. This one was identical to the other one, um, but this one was a little bit different. Again, I'm hoping like 10 bucks each. 
I think this was from the same yard sale I bought my grapes. And look, it was the haunted house and then the book that went with it. I'm hoping at least $10 for the set. And I, I probably paid a dollar for it. At least, I'm hoping more. This must have been a Robert thing. Converse, leopard print, tennis shoes. Oh, one of them's missing shoelaces. Do you remember anything about them? I vaguely remember picking them up somewhere. Yep, yep. Converse tends to do well for us. A little slow moving, but they tend to do well, especially when it's something special printed. I rarely pay more than $5 for you know, yeah. something like this. So they were probably two, three, four dollars. Picked did that you up. buy that? I did at a oh, thrift store. I thought maybe this was another one of Tim and Jerry's things. Yep. Robert grabbed this. It's interesting. It's got, you know, cotton and nuts and grains. Very intriguing. But do you remember how much you pay? Oh, look, it's out of a drawer. That's interesting. I want to say it was three. I want to I say $3 too. And how much do you think you were hoping for? 40 or 50, I think. All right. There was nice. nothing. That's, there's nothing exactly like that out there unless right. somebody has found it and, and copied it. So this is, this is like a one-off that somebody made. They may have made multiples of them, but. Yeah. I like the fact that it's just an old drawer. You can just tell it's vintagey way it's been put together so that's out of our norm if you know anything better about some of the things we're sharing with you get, tell us what do you what would you list that for and then oh this was at a church yard sale which i was surprised for peaches to the beaches there were churches everywhere and yet hardly any of them were doing sales you would have thought that would be at a prime time to do a lot of um, benefit raising, but hardly any churches. But we looked this up. We paid $10 for it, but it is a hammered copper fondue pot by Raffoni. And do you remember what the comps were on this? I what can't, was, I think it was like 100 or 120 maybe. Yeah, and it had all of its parts in there. It had the fondue sticks. I swear it doesn't even look like it had ever been used. It just had all of its things. Luckily, I mean, not luckily, as we were walking out the door, the bottom fell out, but nothing broke. So, yeah, that was bad, bad, bad. That was one of those standing in line purchases. I was waiting in line. You were still looking at stuff, and I saw that off on It was a under table. a table. Yeah. And... I got out of line and went and checked it. Well, I, I, ch I comped it while I was standing in line. And then I was like, I got to get out of line and go get this. Yes. So definitely check the oddball stuff. I, you know, fondue pots aren't something that I normally would check. So I'm glad he did. That's me. I checked the weird stuff. We went to the, it was an estate sale in a house yesterday. We didn't realize that they were having it. They had it Thursday. Mm -hmm. And we found out about it Friday. And when we went, they the house was pretty much cleared out. And they had interesting stuff in there they had a an 1800s book press unfortunately one of the Handles. part of the handle was broken off and they wanted 75 and they go for depending on what it is you know and I, I never could have figured out exactly which one it was but 300 to a thousand dollars yeah yeah but they they knew their prices because she kept trying to tell us, yeah, on eBay it sells for, and on eBay it's listed for. And But she said that one was selling for like 1300 on eBay, but I couldn't find that exact one. But if it had, and she said even with the broken handle, I didn't see any for sale with a broken handle. So I wasn't going to, you know, make that kind of purchase for $75. If she had said $10, I'd have bought it just right. because. And then the last thing I picked up at that, thrift store that was everything was a dollar is this oh, i love these bottles they're called um guzzlers i used to could be able to get them in walmart i can't anymore i've I had to order the last few ones on uh amazon and sometimes they're you know can be eight dollars if i catch them on sale sometimes plus shipping um sometimes even more but i just like drinking out of glass bottles so i was happy when i found 
a one dollar guzzler so always looking for the the personal stuff that you don't even know you want till you find them right yep all right we done we're done we're done y'all get to work video three bye